Well, hey guys, what's going on? Jamie here. Just wanted to do an update for the animal farm, as you guys probably already know. Um, we're about 24 hours from the launch, a little bit over 24 hours, um, based on Forex's Telegram post at 12 noon tomorrow. Um, he'll jump into a VC, and I believe at 1 p.m. it'll launch or something like that. We'll go through the Telegram, but it's uh, <laughs> it's definitely around 24 hours away. So, um, you know, if you're if you're going to get into some of these different parts of the ecosystem, you might want to, you know, prepare for it today. Hopefully, knock on wood, there's no issues. Um, hopefully, they've worked on that over the last two weeks and we are ready to go. So it sounds like to me that everything has all been worked out and we're ready to kind of flip the switch. When I say we, I'm talking about, you know, Forex and his team. Um, they'll flip the switch and we will be ready to go. They'll unpause the dog token and... Uh, the farms will go live and all that other good stuff. So we'll go over that. We'll also touch on the the AMA that he uh, he did yesterday with, um, I think it's, I think they're called Gollum's Gems or something like that, Gollum's Gems. He did an AMA. So we'll go see if there's any any new alpha that was covered. A lot of the AMA is more of, more of the same stuff. It's, you know, him explaining to different audiences, you know, how this thing works. You know, obviously, if you've been in since the beginning, like a lot of you guys, you've kind of heard it. Um, but it's always good to review a couple of things. But again, whenever he does an AMA like that, it's him giving the same information to a brand new audience. So if you're sitting there saying, well, it's more of the same. Yeah, I get it. But the reason why is because he's trying to reach, um, he's trying to give the message to a set of people that may have not heard about this this uh, this project, right? So anyway, real quick, I do want to remind you guys that I'm not a financial advisor. I uh, never take anything I say as financial advice. There is risk in everything that you do in the crypto space. So do your own research, do your own due diligence. If you're going to get in, guys, only put in funds you can afford to lose, guys, a.k.a. risk capital. Also, follow me on Telegram. I will leave a link for that down below. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon. That way you'll get notified straight away whenever I do a brand new video. So real quick, before we dive into the Animal Farm and the AMA yesterday, just a quick update on Drip. Um, drip right now, just around five bucks. Um, so it's kind of been floating around that five dollar mark now for a couple of days. So we'll see what happens. Um, again, I think we're at the beginning, not the beginning, obviously, it's been around for over a year and a half. The faucet has, um, but you know, this roadmap that has been laid out in the in the uh, in the drip wiki and Forex talks about it all the time. Um, the next year and a half to two years. There's lots of products and lots more parts of this ecosystem that are going to be rolled out. A lot of the parts and products have already been built. Obviously, he can't launch everything at the same time, so he has to stagger out and layer up the launch. So over the last, uh, over the, not the last, over the next year and a half or so, there's going to be a lot of different launches. Some things, you know, haven't been built, of course, um, but that's for down the road. But again, all of that just to say that we're at the beginning part of this new roadmap that he's laid out. And uh, it's exciting. It's exciting when you have a team that has a very strong and successful track record. And, you know, they're talking about a year and a half worth of products, right? A year and a half to two years worth of product. I say two years because, again, things get stretched out. Timelines usually don't get hit. There's things that are pushed back. That's DeFi. That's business. It's just the way it goes. So um, over the next year and a half to two years, um, you know, there's a lot of things that are going to be coming up. Not too many, you know, uh, developers are talking, you know, two years out, right? Uh, they're not talking about different things that have that they've been, that they've built already. Um, that they're all they're doing is they're just launching it. So we'll talk about some of that. Uh, you know, I know in the AMA they talked a little bit about scratchies and what's going to go on there. So we'll cover that. But yeah, all of that just to circle back and say that drip right now sitting at five bucks with you know with a two year you know timeline or a two year projection. You know who knows what drip can be, right? Again, I'm not. You know, I don't really make a lot of price predictions over here. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to go to 100 bucks or 200 bucks. You know, I, some people, have, you know, <laughs> they sent me stuff, astronomical numbers, right? 3,000 bucks, 4,000 bucks. Like, you know, <laughs> it's crazy, right? Um, but, you know, I've said it before. I'll say it again. You know, a $20, $20 drip would be insane, right? Think about, you know, what you're making from the faucet right now and quadruple that. That's what you'd be making on a daily basis. I mean, you think about that number, it's pretty, pretty crazy. When you look at it that way, it's like, hey, why not load your bags at this price point, right? Why not, why not increase your position and grow your position or even just get a position? Maybe you're not even in drip. I don't know. But, you know, a lot of people right now are just continuing to build their position. 
Uh, so drip is doing its thing. You know, you know, again, the animal farm is going to launch tomorrow. There's a lot of different moving parts. There's the dog pound. There's all these different moving parts with the pig pen, um, which I think, you know, we'll take a look at the price of pigs too here in a second. But again, the main deal, the main, the main part of this whole thing is the faucet. Okay. If you have a good position, a position you're growing every day um, in the faucet and your daily passive income is continuing to grow because of your position, um, you're going to be all right. You're going to be okay. You'll be able to take advantage of all these different things in the ecosystem. You're not going to be able to take advantage of anything if you don't have the daily passive income, right? Um, so again, build your position in, in the in the faucet. And, you know, maybe the animal farm is over your head. Maybe you don't understand, you know, a lot of things. Maybe you, you've never done farming before. You don't even know what impermanent loss is or how that works. A lot of the stuff might go over your head. You know, focus on the faucet, right? I'm not saying you shouldn't go into those things, but focus on the faucet, you know, you know, maybe go 80 or 90% into the faucet and then play around and dabble with the farm. Um, because again, you may not even understand how it works. The faucet is set it and forget it, right? Uh, you, you take, you get drip, you deposit it 1% a day until you hit 365%. That's 3.65 X of your deposit. Um, you can compound and we've gone over this many times before, so I'm not going to rehash it now, but it's again, it's a set it and forget it, hands-free passive income, you don't got to worry about impermanent loss. Yes, there's volatility in the token. Yes, we all know that, right? It's crypto. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. Um, but again, you don't have to worry about LP tokens and how that works. You don't have to worry about decay in the garden and how miners work and how time lock stakes work in the in the in the in the, in the piggy bank. Um, not saying you can't make money with all those things. We have we we have and a lot of people have right. But this is. <laughs> You know, this is the main deal right here. Okay. Um, so I'll leave my buddy address down below if you want to use it. Great. If not, no worries. Um, you can see here the stats right here. Oops, that's not this. These are some of my wallets, right? I actually opened up two more wallets over the weekend. Um, two more accounts. But you can see this thing is growing. You know, I just did a withdrawal from this one here. It's already at over a thousand trip in my available balance. Eight hundred drip here. I just did a withdrawal here, already over eight hundred drip. Um, yeah, this thing is 600 drip in this one. Um, so yeah, this thing is, um, it's doing what it's doing. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing over a year and a half. No exploits, no hacks, no changes in the taxes, no restriction on withdrawals, no, you know, none of that. Right. Um, even while the, the animal farm V1 was paused, right. The whole, the, during that whole time, the faucet has been cranking and cranking and cranking. So, you know, it's doing its thing. You can see here, this is this the stats for the day. Um, we're halfway through the day here. As you can see, there's still plenty of time, right? Half, you know, almost half of the day here. 92 players today, 6,099 players this month, 124,000 total faucet players. Again, people have multiple wallets. So again, that's probably closer to maybe 100,000 players, right? Um, and you look at the, um, the stats here for the hydrates, the deposits, and the claims. Pretty healthy, pretty healthy stats you can see here. Right. And then if you're if you even want to dig even deeper and you and you like, you know, stats and numbers and that sort of thing. I'm not really too big on stats and numbers like this. I, I mean, I like to know them, but I don't really, you know, go that deep into it. But I know some of you guys do, right? You're into this kind of thing. So again, you can look at the numbers right here. Monthly new faucet accounts. Um, okay. Um, and then you can actually play with the calculator. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Okay. Um, so anyway, let's jump into the animal farm. You can see here 45 million TVL. You can see here the countdown right here. One day, two hours, 22 minutes. Um, let's go into the post from uh, from Forex. Well, you know what? Let's take a quick look at the price of pigs right now. I think people are, get, are getting prepared for it. Um, pig pen. Pig pen doing its thing, just under 43 million TVL in the pig pen. Okay. I got my 53 pigs staked, not 53, I'm saying 532. I got my 532 pigs staked in the pig pen. Um, the price of pigs right now, you go to the swap. One hundred forty-five bucks. So I was kind of doing this a little bit earlier. Um, my last video, I think I did. Uh, I had a maybe sixty-three thousand, 
$63,000 worth of pigs in the pig pen. I showed that in my, my last update video, just like two days ago or whatever it was. And if you look at today, I just did this. I have 532 pigs. I did 530 times 145 bucks, just under 76, or excuse me, just under 77,000 bucks in the pig pen. You know, so again, with the pig pen, don't expect, you know, 1%, 2%, 3% a day. You can get into the faucet for 1% a day. You can get into other parts of the ecosystem for those numbers daily. Um, but it increases your position in the in the animal farm, your ownership, your quote unquote ownership in the animal farm, right? You'll get more of the taxes and fees. A lot of you guys haven't seen that because the, 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 the pools and farms have been closed, right? It, it hasn't gone live yet. Okay, Once it goes live, you're going to see that, okay? Um, this is what I'm excited about, though. Uh, I'm excited about the dog pound, right? I'm excited about all these things, but this one's going to be pretty cool. Again, I don't know exactly how this thing is going to play out and work because we've never seen. I've never seen this before, right? It's never been done before, so we're gonna we're gonna see see this and experience this live, okay? Um, but you can see here, there's a auto compounding feature. This is going to be fun, all right? So we're you know ready to put our dogs in here. So yeah, this is going to be a very, very cool tomorrow. Uh, should be a fun, fun day. Knock on wood, right? Um, let's go over Forex's Telegram posts. So uh, he just put here very healthy drip stats. He was showing the stats here from that from that website. Um, then he had a he had a uh, an AMA with Gollum's gems, which I'll show you the notes here in a second. Shout out to Irene for putting together those notes. A lot of times, you know, people in the community are running around, they're traveling, they got family stuff going on. A lot of times they can't get live, you know, they can't get on live um, on an AMA. You know, they're just busy with life. And, you know, Irene puts uh, the time to put some of those notes together. It's a good way to just catch up and recap on what was what was going on or any new alpha. So we'll cover that here in a second. Um, but this is the, um, I think after the... Um, after the AMA, he came in here, he said, well, we are launching November 1st at 1 p.m. Eastern. This time was chosen so our full team can be available. I will start a VC at noon Eastern to prepare everyone and go through the launch process. Um, I think everyone's ready for, <laughs> for the launch process. They've, they've been ready, right? Um, so hopefully it doesn't go too long, right? Hopefully it's not, you know, regurgitated over from the last time. Because um, I think people are just ready for the for the switch to get flipped on. Um, our audit is finished. They gave us some minor efficiency adjustments we could do, and we implemented them. Now we are just waiting for them to give us the finalized version, start stating the adjustments we made. Uh, we'll have it made by tomorrow for sure, if not tonight, but we'll make it public tomorrow. All of the contracts will be made open source and verified before launch as well. This was important to me so everyone can stake with confidence. Um, they said after launch, we we're going to pass ownership of the strategy chef contract and a few other contracts to so a contract which has a 48-hour delay on function calls for additional security and decentral decentralization reasons. For example, if we made a change to the strategy, Chef, which is the contract that determines where we lend to, the transaction would be placed, but the function wouldn't actually be called to make the change until 48 hours later. These are little things that will set us apart from the competition and give ultimate confidence and transparency. Right, and I think that's one of the things that has that has helped Forex in this ecosystem. It's not it's not been perfect. It's not been you know there's been bumps in the road, obviously, right? Um, but he's been pretty transparent. Okay, sometimes to a fault, right? Um, like I believe in transparency, and I believe in you know trying to you know get as much information as we can. But sometimes it's too much transparency, like to the point where, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like there's things that you know the average person doesn't need to know, right? <laughs> right. Um, and I know he's doing it. You know, he, he's doing it because he wants to. You know, he wants to be as tra transparent as possible. But sometimes it's, it's just way too too much, right? Um, people just want to know that the thing works. They just want to make money with it. They don't need to know all of the little nuances and coding and this and that. And um, at least for me, right? I just want to know that this thing works. Like when I flip on the switch um, here in my office. I just want to know the light will go on, right? I don't need to know how many watts and how much electricity and how much this and how much that and how a light bulb works. Like when I go into my car and I turn it on, I flip it on, um, I just want to know that the engine runs, right? When I put it in drive, I just want to know that it can go forward. I don't need to know about how the engine works. I don't know how to need to know how much, how the gas and how this and that. I don't need to know all that, right? I take it to a <laughs> to someone else to do all that stuff for me, right? 
Um, it's the same thing with these contracts. I just want to know it works. Yeah, I want to make money with it. I appreciate the transparency, but you know, just just make this thing work, right? Um, this gives us the best of both worlds where we can evolve with the times, make changes where needed, and add additional lending options, uh, which are things we couldn't do if we just burned the functionality. But having a 48 delay, 48 hour delay ensures the additional decentralization benefits and security benefits because nothing can be changed behind the community's back without their knowledge. Um, not that I would ever do that, but it's always best just to keep it impossible. So again, they can't do anything um, that the community wouldn't know about. I mean, I'm, this doesn't make it risk-free. I mean, there's a lot of different risks that we take on whenever we get into crypto, but you know, this delay is gonna it's gonna gonna help with additional decentralization. Someone asked me to dumb this down a bit, so make it clear: most of the variables are immutable, but it just means the variable changes we can make to add partnership vaults. Add a new pool, add lending options. It takes 48 hours after the transaction is placed for the function to be called and the changes to go live. So everyone can see the changes going to happen before it does, days in advance, two days in advance to be specific. Um, anyway, launching November 1st, 1 p.m. Eastern. That's tomorrow. Today is the 31st of October. It's Halloween, by the way. Happy Halloween. Um, so this, uh, this is going to go live, right? And then again, once we're past this, um, you know, I think we start moving into after a couple of days, we're going to start moving into uh, scratchies and the next product. Right. Um, which is another way we can make money from this ecosystem. All of all the while faucet, you know, it's going to be cranking, obviously. Right. Um, but let me just go into some of these notes. Right. Shout out to Irene for putting these notes together. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. It's a lot. It's very detailed. Right. She does a really good job. I'm assuming it's a she. She's a she. Right. Her name is Irene. Um, she does a really good job of this. I'm not, I'm going to kind of skip through most of it because a lot, a lot of it, like I said, is, is stuff we've heard before it's regurgitated, but there are some, some, some things, um, towards the middle and towards the end of these notes that I think, um, that I think are, I think are pretty interesting. Right. So says here, the animal farm, um, obviously again, we're going to, it's going to be launching tomorrow. They're going to unpause the dog token. Right. Um, Okay, so again, this is kind of like more of the same, right? So it says here, is there still going to be a marriage between Animal Farm and Drip? Uh, yes, with V1 of Animal Farm Drip farmed uh, in the form of Drip BUSD, it farmed the pig token. Um, it was a th it was a thorn in the game theory as it was being treated as a native asset earning pigs, and it sidestepped the need for the dog token. So he's talked about this before, right? Um, he's talked about this before. Um. And how they, this is one of the things that they changed, right? During that delay, um, this is one of the things that they changed, which is something he's always wanted to change. But, you know, the opportunity, obviously they weren't able to launch because of the drip liberation. So because they were going to be able to launch anyway, he took the opportunity to kind of fix this and enhance or advance the game theory, right? Um, so we already talked about that. So this is a little bit, uh, let me see. Do, 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 do. Okay, here's here's what I wanted to talk about here. So, sister, so for 2023, we are excited about the Scratchies protocol, uh, the first decentralized Scratch ticket model. It's basically taking what exists now and blows it out of the water. So, the raise for Scratchies will be coming in December. So, again, the raise will be in December, and then it'll, I guess they'll launch it kind of beginning of 2023. Scratch tickets sold in the form of NFTs will be a white label service. Um, so it can service all of DeFi. It will be sold in batches of 10,000. The interface looks just like a traditional scratch ticket. When you win, you immediately win your prize, which is BNB, which is, which is great. Um, in a traditional model, 60% of all scratch ticket sales go to the administrators in the state. In our model, 90% of the capital goes back to the participants of the system and the platform that are hosting the sales of the tickets. When a platform hosts the sales of tickets on their site, it has their branding and 15% of their proceeds going back to buying their native asset. They can then use that for whatever they want. They can even use them as part of their partnership vaults and put tokens on the animal farm. So again, really good stuff. It looks like it's been really thought out. Um, you can stake your losing scratchy NFT to, and earn a revenue share from the ticket sales. Each ticket starts with a 5X multiplier. Each month it reduces by one. So month two is a 4X and month three it's a 3X etc cetera, etc cetera. so again i don't really want to jump the gun because again we have to get through the animal farm launch first but again it's always good to kind of see a little bit on what's what's coming next right it just kind of gives you that 
that feeling of, you know, these guys ain't going anywhere, <laughs> right? They have other things that they want to do, other things that they want to launch. And, um, you know, that, that's that's good to know. Um, what are the launch date procedures for Animal Farm? How do how do people get involved? Pigs token is already available to buy to buy via the swap. So again, you can prepare yourself for this launch and get pigs if you want. Do it right from the swaps. You know, there's a lot of scams on Pancake Swap, fake token addresses, et cetera, et cetera. Just get it from the site. Um, you want to buy pigs now and get them staked in the pig pen to get all the rewards and trades that will be coming into the farm from the beginning. Because remember, when you go into um when you when you have a position in the pig pen, you'll get a piece of the fees, right? So as people go into the farms and pools when they go live, if you have already a position in the pig pen, you're 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 set, right? You'll 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 be set to you know get a little bit of those fees, right? Um, you can get to earn as an owner of the platform. We take the smallest fee as a development team. On on farms, the fees are two percent in and two percent two percent out. Pools are three percent in and three percent out. Um. So, Cesar, we have a founder staker contract, which allows Forex to hold 10% of the animal farm in the governance pool. Um, the founder's pig can never be withdrawn from the pig pen, okay? Okay. Also, if they can never be withdrawn from the pig pen, they can never be, you know, sold. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's, I'm, I'm interested in that because, again, I have a pretty nice chunk of change sitting in the pig pen um now again if you're not interested in going in the pig pen then this probably won't be too relevant for you um but you know that this is what's going on that's how you can get busd also um uh, dogs token going live any special procedures one more thing i want to talk about uh most farms just keep emitting rewards no matter what else is going on the emission rates on the animal farm can be adjusted automatically the emission rate takes into account several values um, with the emission rate supply control, you can sustainably earn BUSD and BNB. This will be the best yield farm in the world with all these additional game theory earning BNB and BUSD while the stake tokens earn value. Um, so here's the launch. Like we said before, 1 p.m. Eastern, November 1st, which is tomorrow. Launch of the dog token, they'll unpause the token. So you'll be able to stake it in the farms. Um, 30 minutes later, the farm emissions will start. And then again, they're going to let the farm run for maybe two to three weeks, maybe a month, maybe most likely. And then they're going to start to work on launching other the other elements, which is the dog's roulette game, right? Um, the auto compounding for the pig pen, uh, the dogs of fortune, which will be launched uh, quarter one of 2023. Um, and then scratchies, right? Scratchies. Um and then obviously there's other things like the new drip UI, the the drip layer two that you know they're gonna you know build on top of drip uh, layer you know v1 I guess nothing's gonna happen to the current you know the current drip, um, but it's gonna be you know there's gonna be a way that they're gonna gamify you know the reservoir I believe I believe that's what they're gonna be doing with it. But again, lots of stuff coming, guys. In the meanwhile, let's stay focused on tomorrow. Launch of the animal farm should be good um again stay in our telegram we'll be giving updates over there as well uh but yeah lots of stuff going on again faucet build your position in the faucet you can kind of venture off and get into these different parts of the ecosystem but all of these different parts of the ecosystem is there so that we can make money passive income um you know with all the different ways and all the different things that forex is doing anyway that's pretty much it a lot to go over i know but it's exciting exciting times guys so um yeah follow me on telegram guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that little bell icon so you'll get notified straight away as always do your own research and only put in risk capital all right guys hope you guys have a great start to your week i'll catch you in the next update video peace